Always alluding, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, next weather meteorologist is Zach Gonzalez keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Ian. The set, where's yes. it now? Yes, well, it is moving over western Cuba and bringing some life threatening flash flooding and mudslides to this part of the island. And it made landfall over western Cuba near Pinal de Rio at 4 30 in the morning. But as of 5 a.m., it's a category three and maxing winds currently at 125 miles an hour and moving north at 12 miles an hour. And the pressure just continues to drop as it's rapidly intensifying into a category. Category four hurricane later today. And as it moves west of the lower keys, we are going to experience some of the worst of the weather today through tomorrow. So we have alert days and they are actually going to extend the alert days through Thursday as we'll have the potential for flooding through then. And then you'll notice that Ian is still likely to be a category four as we head into overnight tonight with 130 mile per hour winds. By tomorrow afternoon, a category three hurricane with 125 mile per hour winds approaching the west coast of Florida. So it could be making landfall anywhere from Fort Myers to the Tampa Bay area, but many of the models indicating that it'll likely make landfall here in the Tampa Bay area where it could bring catastrophic, catastrophic storm surge and flooding, unfortunately. And then it is set to move to the northeast, become a Cat 1 by Thursday around 2 p.m., then eventually lift northward across the Big Bend, the Panhandle as a tropical storm and an area of low pressure here as we head into the end of the week. But wow, this is a massive and dangerous hurricane, as you can see from the satellite and the impacts extend well out and away from the center. So hurricane warning for the dry Tortugas, tropical storm warning from Key West of the seven mile bridge. And as we take a look at the storm surge potential, two to four feet for the Keys, minor flooding possible along coastal Miami-Dade and Broward County. So tropical storm conditions possible for the lower middle Keys to day through tomorrow and wind gusts of 40 to 70 miles per hour. Storm Storm surge of two to four feet, and we could see a six to nine inches of rain in Miami-Dade and Broward County with wind gusts of 30 to 45 miles per hour. For more on our local impacts, sending it over to our meteorologist, Dave Warren. And yes, we are watching it, the, the keys uh, there because we are expecting tropical storm conditions, but we have flooding concerns uh, right now. A flood advisory from Duck Key all the way up through Long Key, Isla Mirada, and just uh, stopping just short of Tavernier. Very heavy rain is about to go over this area, which is under a flood advisory. Uh, the advisory itself until 530 with that heavier rain coming in, likely we could see this uh, extending here. So flooding problems continue in the keys and the wind will start to pick up as well. Uh, concern is this storm right here holding together and moving to the northwest here. We've had a few storms showing signs of rotation overnight had some tornado warnings issued. Uh, this one uh, showing the same characteristics here. No warnings with this, but this will create some gusty wind. It's about to move over Thompson near Key Largo. There's your time 521 there. So just about four or five minutes. This will be moving through the upper keys. Gust of wind downpours as that continues to move to the northwest. There's the activity. It's just above Duck Key, a little bit here in the lower keys. But look at this rain. It'll continue to spread north into parts of Broward and Miami Dade here. Waves of rain coming in. Then you get a little break. There it is by 3, 4 o'clock. The wind continues out of the southeast. And we're getting these gusty squalls that continue to push through the area. Lifting north, they'll be increasing. The wind will be getting a little stronger. Here's the actual center of the storm passing west of the lower keys. This is by eight, nine o'clock tonight. So that's when you expect to see these uh, squalls coming through. Very gusty downpours continuing. It'll start to break up just a bit Wednesday afternoon as the storm lifts to the north, but they're still going over the area uh, with that strong wind there out of the south. Here's what to expect. Uh, alert days here today, tomorrow, and then Thursday for those gusty squalls moving through the area. Little improvement on Friday. We'll keep storms in the forecast over the weekend by Saturday and Sunday temperatures are into the mid 80s. Get a little more sunshine, a few storms and we push back to 90 degrees by the start of next week. The first three days, though, be alert for these squalls and gusty downpours that will continue to move through the area.